What's up YouTube, this is DWS Darius and this is going to be another episode of Amazing Fish and today's Amazing Fish, the 6 Bar Frontosa. Okay YouTube, so right now you are currently looking at my 125 gallon African Cichlid tank with cichlids from Lake Malawi, Lake Victoria, and Lake Tanganyika. But the cichlids that I'm going to focus on is the Burundi Frontosa cichlid, also known as the Six Bar Frontosa. So there's a lot of action in this tank, a lot of distractions, but I'm going to try my best to focus on the two that I currently keep. Okay, so first I'll give you guys a little close up on these fish. These fish are just very beautiful as you can see. They display that nice white and black stripe pattern across their body and just all within their scales there's a nice little blue glow now currently the two that I have don't really hold the great hierarchy ranking in this tank so they're not showing their top color but even in this milder state or this lower ranking state they show a nice presentable color and really looks amazing they really stick out compared to the rest of the fish as well making them a beautiful fish another thing that I love about these frontosa cichlids is the fact that as they mature they just look better and better in appearance um, they go through just such a body transformation, it's amazing. Um, their colors intensify and their overall body shape looks awesome. Now generally when I make these amazing fish episodes, I prefer to show the fish when they're in their adult stage. However, these frontosa grow pretty slow and along with that I had a couple of requests to see this video of these fish so I decided to show this video while mine were in their teenage stage. However, as adults they just look completely amazing. They can reach up to 15 inches in length. As far as height from stomach to back, they can reach about seven to eight inches, which is pretty tall. Um, and just, they become very beastly fish. The males will develop a nice nuchal hump. And if you know me, I have quite an obsession for fish with nuchal humps. And um, they're just a very overall beastly looking awesome fish as adults. Okay, YouTube, so a little bit about the six bar frontosa cichlid. These cichlids come from Lake Tanganyika of Africa where the temperature ranges between 76 to about 82 degrees Fahrenheit, sometimes warmer. I like to keep my tank temperature at about 78 degrees. They seem to be pretty comfortable with that. The pH of the lake is also higher as well. Just like with most Rift Lake African cichlids, they prefer that higher pH. I keep my pH at about 7.9, um, and that's pretty much the highest I can get it. I don't want to use artificial buffers because it will cost me so much just to try to keep up with it. My um, natural buffer has only buffed me up to 7.5. The pH coming out of my tap water is about 7.2. Natural buffers buff me up to 7.5. And then I try my best to oxygen oxygenate the water as best as can. I add my circulation pump so I could get that surface agitation. I also face the output of my filter so that I could get as much surface agitation as possible, which then causes more oxygen to be in the water, which then raises the pH. So um, my pH is about 7.9 degrees and they don't really mind that based on just their behavior. Another thing to consider when keeping this fish, as I said before, they can potentially become monstrous fish, reaching up to 15 inches, so you definitely got to provide a decent tank size. I recommend a minimum tank size of 90 gallons, but you know, bigger is always better. Now, a very sensitive topic is the fact of tank mates. Now, you see me, I mix mine with haps, um, mabona, clown loaches, and um, just I mix them. And that can be a very sensitive thing to do. These frontosa, shockingly, are very shy fish. Now, if you look at these fish from appearance, they look pretty beastly. They look like they could really do some damage on a fish. But from my experience, they're some of the shyest African cichlids I've ever kept. Um, making this video was pretty difficult. If I was to make this video uncut, if I did no editing, it would probably take about an hour to show you guys these fish because as you can see now, they're constantly hiding um, and they're just very shy fish. So it makes choosing tank mates a little bit difficult. Well, not difficult, but you just gotta do extra consideration considering their shyness. I find that in my tank with Haps, Mabuna, and Peacocks, they are on a lower of the hierarchy because um, they can't really compete with that with that just non-stop aggression. So if you want to make your frontosa happy, try to choose milder, aggressive tank mates like the yellow lab. These fish would make great tank mates because they're not too aggressive. Also, um, just milder fish. Malawi dolphins don't seem to be too bad. And a lot of Alonokara 
Peacock Cichlids, they're really not too bad as well. With these Frontosa Cichlids, they're really not aggressive. Maybe that's just because mine are juveniles, but they really prefer the calmer Peace Filler tank. Now they are aggressive, but when you compare them to your other Haps, Peacocks and Mabuna, they definitely are a few steps down. So I always consider that when keeping them together as far as the species, keeping the species together, your options are you could either keep one solo or you could keep a small colony. I keep two and it's by luck they're still alive. Every now and then they always go at it. But um, it's always safer to either keep one by himself or to keep a colony because if you just keep a few of them, one or two, they can potentially kill each other like with most cichlids. Another interesting thing about these fish and possibly their main downfall is the fact that they grow so slow. Now, from my experience, I um, was able to conclude that bigger fish grow faster. However, that's not the case with these fish because they definitely take their time when it comes to growing. Now, I bought my two about two years ago, one coming from PetSmart and one coming from a local fish store. I think this is the one that came from the local fish store because I bought him first and he's always been bigger and more dominant than the other one. But two years ago, they were one inch and this is two years later and he's six inches, so definitely very slow growing. Um, I have some of these other peacocks and haps that can reach that same size in six months, so you definitely want to consider that. Again, when stocking them, a lot of times is, uh, people buy these fish as juveniles because that's their cheapest stage. They cost about $24 as a juvenile, and as they get older, that price does go up. So many people buy these fish as juveniles, but you gotta consider that these fish grow very slow, so when you choose tank mates, you wanna be just consider they're slow growing because that definitely helps with their hierarchy. The fact that every other fish grows faster than them automatically puts them at a more vulnerable state. So that's just another thing to consider about these fish. Okay YouTube, so that has been a look at the 6 bar frontosa cichlid. Hopefully you were able to get something from this video. I know it was hard for me to focus on these fish as they do a lot of hiding. As you can see now, you don't see them because they're behind that rock. So hopefully you were able to get just a little bit of help or just some type of benefit from watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. As always, you can feel free to subscribe for more videos are coming. Be sure to check out the Amazing Fish playlist where you can find 47 other fish and that number is continuously growing. And that will be all. Thank you all for watching.